When testing secondary ignition, go ahead and connect your ignition scope or your lab scope to the system. For coil on plug ignition systems, use a short plug wire as an extension, then you can connect your scope leads to that. In order to view the patterns like you are going to see here, make a recording and play it back frame by frame. Some patterns happen so quickly that the scope has difficulty in displaying them. And in fact, I have difficulty in seeing them when they're so fast. So I make a recording and play them back frame by frame. After you get your waveform on the screen, go ahead and start your diagnostics. This is the voltage required to start the spark. It should be even on all cylinders and under 20 kV. If you notice, ours is at 25 kV. This can be caused by a lean fuel mixture, high resistance in plug wires, or worn spark plugs. This is the voltage after the spark has started. 3 to 4 kV is typical on most ignition systems. More importantly, it should be even on all cylinders. Voltages over 6 kV are usually caused by bad spark plug wires or high resistance, bad resistance, bad spark plugs. So wires or plugs can cause voltages over 6 kV. In this example of a bad plug wire, it could be a bad plug wire, could be a bad spark plug boot on a coil on plug system. Sometimes on coil on plugs, we think we don't have plug wires. Well, we really don't. But those boots can leak and cause the same type of firing outside the cylinder as a wire can. This is another example of a bad plug wire or a boot. Voltages below 3 kV indicates arcing outside the cylinder caused by bad plug wires, boots on the coil on plugs, or carbon tracking. And I could not resist showing you the carbon tracking on this spark plug. I know you've seen many of them. This is where we're firing outside the cylinder. These are examples of firing outside the cylinder because of carbon tracking right here. Look at the length and the shape of the spark line. The length should be 1.5 milliseconds typically and always over 0.9 milliseconds. For short spark plug durations with normal spark KV, check primary current, spark plug condition, and coil condition in the ignition system test. The shape should be flat and will arc up slightly at the end. Now look at what we're saying here. Only slightly does it arc up at the end. This is the shape and the high KV spike of a lean cylinder. It doesn't arc up slightly. It really arcs up there. That's a lean cylinder. Plus we have the high KV spike to tell us that we have a lean cylinder. Go to fuel system testing if you get this type of pattern. If all the cylinders are lean, check fuel pressure, fuel volume, fuel filters, fuel pump, voltage drops at the relay and the pump, and things that are common to all cylinders. If only one cylinder is lean, the injector and the manifold runner should be checked for that particular cylinder. Also check if EGR valve is located next to that lean cylinder. If the EGR is located next to that lean cylinder, check it for proper operation. This uneven shape in the firing line shows turbulence in the cylinder. Check for leaking EGR. Engine mechanical problems, you know, valve sealing problems. Injectors that don't atomize the fuel correctly. A pattern that would dribble. The oscillations at the end are from the energy remaining in the coil after the spark goes out. Coil on plug ignition systems may only display one hump instead of three. Let's see some of those. On the left, the example of, is of most ignition systems. We have three or more humps. On the right, the example is coil on plug. There may only be one hump. And it's actually a little longer than normal. So look for the one to three oscillations. If they're missing, check for weak coil, a very weak coil, in the ignition system test. Now, don't forget to superimpose your secondary patterns. 
It can, you can do it on distributors or DI systems. You can do it on coil on plugs. What you're looking for when you superimpose all cylinders on one pattern, you're looking for something that jumps out that's, ad, that's not normal and it's moving around. Very easy to see when you superimpose. You will now be returned to the test selection menu. Make a selection based on your test results.